The visual record of the Haiti nightmare and a worse person's record of the nightmares of American media figures without consciences or souls humiliating our country through their cold heartedness. And to that point, the second of tonight's quick comments. He has already insisted that our relief effort in Haiti, our governments, on behalf of you and me as Americans, was so a black president could burnish his credibility with black voters. He has already tried to discourage people from giving to the Red Cross via the White House website by claiming the White House might keep the money. And now Rush Limbaugh, madman, says Haiti is about domestic U.S. politics. The U.S. military is now meals on wheels. It always is with Democrat presidents. His words have been met with deafening silence by those who a week ago thought this man the titular head of their party, their movement, their worldview. Many of them now see him juxtaposed against the heartbreaking images of Haiti for what he is, a man for whom misery is just new material, a man who took his own spark of humanity and wasted it lighting his own cigar. Throughout our history and that of our neighbor countries, Americans have always been able to coalesce, however briefly, to help those others in more desperate peril. We have been able to hold our disagreements for a time, no matter how short. And somebody, somebody who cares about Rush Limbaugh, if there is such a person, must get the message to him. This is such a time. Your words, sir, against humanity, against American generosity, against us, Americans, will be remembered and acted upon.